Today on MTG Unpacked, we're finally getting stuck into Theros Beyond Death, the first booster box here. And I got a buyer box promo as well, we'll take a look at that later in the video. And this very tasty foil mountain here, I actually got a couple of others with the other boxes. So I'll take a look at those in future videos, very cool indeed. So let's pop that over there and get stuck into it. And I'll be putting the prices in the corner as of January 17th, 2020. So if you're watching this after that, the prices will probably go all over the place. So keep that in mind. All right, let's dig in, grab a nice pile of packs here and actually this box was made in Japan, so I'm expecting the pack ordering might be the opposite way than usual. Okay, so let's get this out of the way and get cracking here. And we've got the new Planeswalker there. And of course, pull tabs, all right. And yes, this is going to make it a little bit easier. So we'll be skipping over the commons. We'll take a closer look at those when we snack on the boxes. And let's boost the lighting here a tad. There we go. Okay, so we have a reflection token, a mountain, okay, non foil, really love the artwork. And the rare is the first Eruin Games. All right, so pop that over there. And then Uncommon's Rise to Glory, Renata called to the hunt, and Inevitable End. Okay, so. Let's rearrange things like so. And yeah, being Japanese, cards are going to fly around everywhere here, so that could be a problem. But let's see how we go. Okay, next up we have a human soldier token, island. Pop that over there. And a whoa, Strider, creature horror. Lovely beast there. Okay, and Sayona, Captain of the Paleas, Dawn of Angel, and Soul Guide Lantern. Alright. So, did anyone take part in pre-release yet? Leave a note in the comments, how did you do? I was planning to go on Friday night, but alas, a huge snowstorm is sweeping through, so I'm going to try my luck again on Saturday. Okay, got a Swamp, a Foil Escape Velocity, and the rare is Bronze Hide Lion. Okay, with a Skofos Maze Warden, Archon of Falling Stars, Sea God Scorn, and then onto the commons there. Okay. So, what is your craziest pull so far? What did you get in your pre release pack if you managed to do that? Anyone get any of the new Planeswalkers or the Titans? I'm looking for the Titans here. So we've got a wall, Planes, and Elspeth Conquers Death. Okay, so the Sagas are back. Love the artwork on that one. Impending Doom. And the Birth of My Lettuce. Stinging Lionfish and Commons. All right. So, making decent progress here, and we actually cracked open uh, the other day over a hundred packs in MTG Arena. It's not quite as fun as this, but I'll pop a link up in the corner there, you can check it out. And I love this goat token, this is just hilarious. So, hoping to build some goat decks. Okay, we've got a forest and a temple of plenty! Toss a coin to your witcher! Has anybody been watching that show? Leave a note in the comments. Absolutely love it. Ooh, this is spicy. Showcase border. Daxos blessed by the sun. And I actually saw one of these in the Planeswalker decks. I think that was in the Elspeth one. And the Triumph of Annex and Underworld Fires. Okay, so doing okay so far. Nothing spectacular. Get some focus here. Human soldier, a mountain. I'm looking to pull a foil one. Oh, ho, 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 ho! 
Extended Art Mythic. Elspeth's son's nemesis. Very tasty pull indeed. So you can actually get these outside the collector packs. That's good to know. We'll start a separate mythic pile over there. Slaughter Priest of Mogus, Minotaur Shaman, Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Interesting. He used to be a common, so they've bumped him up to uncommon. Agonizing Remorse, and a bunch of commons. And I know some people like when I go through the commons, you'll have plenty of opportunities in the future to see those. We'll really focus on it. Unfortunately, we don't really have the time. We've got to get this video out ASAP, so MTG Arena. Got a Swamp, a Brian Giant Foil, nice foiling on that guy, and the rare is Taranika, a Crowan Veteran. And Uncommon's Fres Band Brawler, Glimpse of Freedom, and Phalanx Tactics. Still looking for the Foil lands, those are a hot commodity, and we've got another goat here. Mountain and Shadow Spear, that's pretty nice. Legendary Artifact Equipment, and that fits in nicely with the lore. Unfortunately, the lore was a handful of paragraphs, and yeah, they didn't expand on that. What do you think of that? I think it's a bit shoddy. I wish that. Uh, had a novel or something to expand on all the lore. Next we have Devourer of Memory, Banishing Light, and One with the Stars. Okay, so... Next, what is this guy? Satyr Token, an island. And I'm totally gonna use these in a deck, this is just too cool. A foil, Myers Grasp, and the rare, ooh, that is pretty cool. Timeret Calls the Dead, a saga, and what is this guy? Ooh, that is disturbing, made up of all sorts of little zombie parts there, I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Get it back in focus. Camera's having a fit. Uncommon's Destiny Spinner, Lagona Band Storyteller, Sage of Mysteries. Ooh, Wrapping Flames, that looks pretty cool. And I may need to move that common pile before it starts sliding everywhere. Okay, next we have an Elemental, a Swamp. And the rare is Protean Thaumaturge, Creature Human Wizard. With a Blood Aspirant, check out this guy, Satyr Berserker, hilarious. That reminds me of the uh, Satyr in, uh, I think it was the Theros block, this grinning Satyr. Leave a note in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Caliphae, Beloved of the Sea, Legendary Enchantment Creature Demigod, okay, so that's the thing. Hero of the Winds, and we've got two more packs for the first third of the box. Okay, we're back in MTG Arena. Have you been playing MTG Arena? Built any Theros Beyond Death decks yet? What? Oh! Heliod Suncrown Mythic! Legendary enchantment creature, God. That is a tasty pull indeed. Okay, second Mythic. Pop him over there. And Uncommon's Chainweb Arachnir. Farika's Spawn and Mirror Shield. Okay, so we've got some Gorgon action happening here. Okay, good to know. So many possibilities. Okay, we've got a Pegasus, a Forest, and Labyrinth of Scophos. So this one goes along with the Minotaur. We might see him at some point. Uncommon's Dream Stalker Manticore. Check that out. The Stuff of Nightmares. Entrancing Liar and Whirlwind Denial. Okay, and I'm going to very shortly be knocking things over. Let's move those over there. So move on to the next tile. Okay, MTG Arena. 
Forest. Oh, foil showcase, Caliphate, beloved of the sea. That is a very tasty pull. Okay, so more like that, please. And the rare, Eidolon of Obstruction, Enchantment Creature Spirit. The Fateful End, Nessian Horn Beetle, and Hydra's Growth. And I think there is actually, there's a Harpy Common. I'm not sure if it's in the regular packs or just in the Planeswalker deck. Um, that one's worth over a dollar at the time of the filming, but I can't be bothered going through all the commons at this point. Got a Human Soldier, a Plains, and Mantle of the Wolf is the rare. And Uncommons, Heroes of the Revel, Satyr's Soldier, Heliod's Punishment, and Underworld Dreams. And I will be popping up the value for this box at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I expect it will be pretty decent with those spicy pulls there. Um, but as always, the values are going to crash in the coming weeks, so keep that in mind. Human Soldier, Island, and oh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove, Enchantment Creature, Nymph. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. That is a spicy meatball indeed. Satessan Petitioner, Careless Celebrant, and Commanding Presence. And usually I would spend a bit more time focusing on the artwork, but we've got a whole box to get through, people. I'm not even at uh, Rudy pack cracking speed here, so... Still going to go on probably 20 to 30 minutes, but try to keep it as short as possible. Satyr token, mountain, and a piece of pack there. And the rare. Oh, oh, foil rare. Nylea's intervention. All right, and I thought I caught a peek at something. Oh, Ashiox erasure. Okay. Staggering insight. Mischievous Chimera. There's a bunch of those in this set. Show Kraken. And that is it. So still looking for the Ashiok, the Titans, and was it Calyx? Is that the name of the new planeswalker? Human Soldier. G'day Swamp. Love the artwork here, even if it is like little symbols in space. A foil Elysian Caryatid and the rare. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Gallia of the Endless Dance. Look at that. All sorts of craziness going on there. That's fun. Okay, a Shimmerwing Chimera. Enemy of Enlightenment, Enchantment Creature Demon and Sweet Oblivion. What is happening here? People's faces are turning into pixelized messes. Okay, and we've got the three-headed dog there, Cerberus, I don't think. I uh, can't remember if is he a common or is he a rare? I don't think we've run across him yet. We've got a reflection token, island. And a grave breaker Lamia. And this guy was in one of the Planeswalker decks. Creepy as hell, look at that. Oh, not a fan of snakes at all. Nessian Wanderer, Siona, Captain of the Pileas, and Cling to Dust. So I would say we're a bit over the halfway point now. Okay, we've got a human soldier, a forest, a foil hero of the games. And rare is Satessan Champion, Creature Human Warrior 1 3 for 3, with a Mystic Repeal, Medomai's Prophecy Saga. That's pretty cool, must be a Sphinx, it looks like. And Minions Return. Okay, straighten the piles. So does anyone have any crazy combos I've noticed in this set yet? I can think of a few. There was one with the Hydra. Um, was it Thassa? Has some crazy interactions as well. So looking forward to that. 
So NPG Arena Planes, a foil agonizing remorse. We are getting quite a few foils here. And a Nadir Kraken, yes! Watch out, and these tentacles uh, look like they're bigger than the beast itself, so that's interesting. A Daxos Blessed by the Sun, just a regular, not showcase version. Favoured of Erewis and Threnody Singer. Ah, nothing like cracking packs of a new set. When it first comes out, everything's brand new, and before everybody's totally sick of it, Human Soldier, a mountain, and some foils of those would be nice at some point. Dream Trawler, Creature Sphinx. So these Sphinxes are weird characters indeed. What is the weirdest Sphinx you can think of? Um, there's, there's just so many um, lost for words here. Nyx Herald. Drag to the Underworld and Hateful Eidolon. Okay. Hmm. So. Got a set here. A swamp. And Underworld Breach. I guess what's happening there is everything is escaping from the Underworld. Utropia the Twice Favoured. And if we see one of those Titans, you'll see what I mean. Thundering Chariot, Illyrius Enraptured. Okay. So it's going to throw me off if I have any uh, sets printed in the US. So we've got a wolf, normally things are the other way around. A forest, a foil, unknown shores. That's not the most exciting foil. And eat to extinction, yes! Get a load of that. Sweet dreams, everybody. I love that artwork because it is so disgustingly hideous. Fantastic. And always oh, showcase Annex Hardened in the Forge. So that is pretty cool. Okay. A Acolyte of Affliction. And Maya Triton. Zombie Merfolk. I was going to say Seb McKinnon. Yes, that is very distinctive style there. Okay, and yep, I'm going to have to move that pile before things go crazy. And I pulled that tab all the way down. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. MTG Arena. We've got a Plains. And a Mythic Ox of Agonas. Yes. So this guy is pretty cool when he enters the arena. Um, in MTG Arena. This snorting, growling, and I think you hear a bit of the, the chains whipping around there. Or the... The uh, antlers or whatever those things are, horns. So that is very nice. Three mythics so far. And Escape Velocity, Reverend Hoplite, and Elspeth's Nightmare. Okay, let's move this over here. We'll chuck it just here. Okay, the last third of the box. Trying to get this in less than half an hour would be nice. A wall, mountain, a foil, chain web, arachnia, and the rare is Temple of Enlightenment. Okay, so we've got a couple of temples. Hero of the Nyxborn, Timeret, Chosen from Death. And there's a showcase version of this. I think it's in the A-Shop Planeswalker deck. So that's very nice. Arceid of Life's Bounty. Okay, and a bunch of commons. Where are you, Ashiok or the Titans? We need you! So we should have a few more mythics in this set here. We've got a swamp. Erebus's Intervention is the rare. Some very tasty artwork there. And uncommons, Warden of the Chained, Furious Rise, and Field of Ruin. I've actually reprinted that. Okay, got a turtle. Okay, another MTG Arena, Forest. And Storm's Wrath is the rare. It's pretty cool, that would make a nice foil. Wolf Willow Haven, Soul Guide Lantern, and Glimpse of Freedom. OK, 
Okay, we've got a human soldier. I wish I didn't have to keep focusing, but this camera is getting a bit old. We've got a planes, a... Oh, wait! A foil Perforos' intervention. Add that to the huge pile of foils here, and a mythic, and not just any mythic, it's extended art, the borderless Aishioc Nightmare Muse. Very nice indeed. So this box, I think with all these uh, tasty pulls, has pretty much paid for itself, and then some. Pop that over there, and Uncommon's Dream Shaper Shaman. Stinging Lionfish and the Binding of Titans. And like I said at the end of the video, we'll tally everything up, see how I did. And I know, um, was it Tolarian Community College? He likes to do the booster box game with a new set. And it's funny how as time goes on, the value of the boxes keeps dropping. And yeah, he doesn't usually make it too far. We get another goat token, a swamp. And Heliod's Intervention is the rare. With a Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Grey Merchant of Asphodel. G'day Gary, how you going? Agonizing Remorse. And the Commons. One of these days I'll figure out a means of cracking the packs even faster like Rudy does. I don't know how he does it to be honest. Human Soldier. Get a mountain and a rare enigmatic incarnation. Look at that very tasty artwork. Chainweb Arachnir, Scophos Maze Warden, and yeah, this is the one that uh, works with Labyrinth of Scophos. Underworld Dreams and a Nyxborn Colossus. Okay, so I think we're down, what is it, about half a dozen packs or so. Hoping for a few more mythics. That is a very nice zombie indeed. It's a bit hard to even tell that it's a zombie, but I guess that mask is a giveaway. An island and rare is Wave Break Hippocamp. Enchantment creature, horsefish. Okay, that's slightly ridiculous. And Calife, beloved of the sea, showcase border. Very nice. Triumph of Anax and Dawn of Angel. Okay, so we have five more. Okay, that's about what I was thinking. Where are the mythics? I'd like a few more mythics, please. Don't want to be too greedy, or maybe I do actually. Uh, MTG Arena Plains, a scavenging harpy foil. And the rare is Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Legendary creature, Merfolk Artificer. Very cool artwork there. Rise to Glory, Nessian Horn Beetle, and Inevitable End. So, four packs to crack. And I'm having trouble opening packs now. I can hear people wincing. Good a Human Soldier, Swamp. Ah, here he is, Mythic, Calyx, Destiny's Hand. So this is the new Planeswalker. Very cool, check it out. Pop him over here. So what have we got? Five Mythics so far. Entrancing Liar. Renata called to the hunt and the birth of my lettuce. Because I am a bit of a salad fan, and now I'm flicking cards everywhere. It's that time in the video, everybody. I'm not going to do a table flip, though. If you've seen what's on the table here, piles of cards, it's ridiculous. We've got a satyr, a forest. Oh, no, not a foil forest, alas. And Temple of Abandon is the rare. The Impending Doom Mirror Shield. And Sea God Scorn. Okay, last two packs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. And we've got a very cool tentacle token here. A mountain. And the Acroan War. 
Uncommons. Get that in focus. There we are. Very nice. And Uncommons Ferris brand trawler. Band brawler. Brand trawler. Okay. It's time to end the video soon. Phalanx Tactics and Underworld Fires. Okay. Last pack. All right. Let me know how you did in pre-release. Um, if I manage to make it this weekend, I'll do a bit of a pre-release report, deck tech sort of thing. So that'll come up in the next couple of days, I think. And if not, you won't see it. We've got a human soldier, an island, and a Atris Oracle of Half Truths, and the Uncommons Archon of Falling Stars, Clothis's Design, and Whirlwind Denial. Okay, so. Let's tally up the value. I'll pop it around here. I think I did pretty well with this lot. Five mythics is about average, so it can't complain. Absolute ton of foils. And I nearly forgot. Let's take a look in here. See what tasty goodness. And this will be actually added on to the value. So the value I showed will include this. Uh, okay, so what is this little... Okay. And... Oh! Tastiness! Athreos Shroud Veiled Mythic Foil Mythic, no less. So that's one of the promos. And... A Forest, which I think... Yeah, this was supposed to be foil. They screwed up. So, yeah. That's why they had these separately. There we go. Thanks for watching and have a great day.